Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And I want to talk to you today about what success means to you. Success, right? People say the word, hey, here's to your success. What does that mean exactly? A lot of times it's associated with making a lot of money, right? Maybe a six figure salary or a multiple six figure business owner or seven figures even, right? Do you feel successful when you're making more money? Do you feel successful when you have really happy, amazing clients who are doing good at whatever it is you're teaching and showing them how to do? Um, do you feel successful because you have a big house or a nice car or, uh, you know, uh, a beautiful body <laughs> and nice clothes? What makes you feel successful? Um, I'll tell you a little bit about what I think and then maybe um, might give you some ideas. First of all, I feel very blessed at this stage of my life and I'm, I'm 51. And um, I'm married to the most amazing man who is very supportive of what I do, who's had a job and his own business before, and now is going in to get another job. But we have this, we're both like entrepreneurial mindsets. So success means to me is having people in my life who totally get me, who are completely supportive of what I'm doing. It could be a parental figure or a sister, um, whatnot. Um, pretty much everybody in my life that I let into my energy is uh, completely supportive of what I do at this stage. Now, it wasn't always that way. Um, I had a starter husband who uh, was a great guy. He's still a great guy. We're still friends. But when I started doing my own business after uh, being in a job, the income was kind of roller coaster right in the beginning. And he wasn't that supportive of me doing my own business. He really wanted me to get a job. So it was more secure income. But that wasn't going to happen because I already got the you know, entrepreneurial bug, right? So success to me means having those right people in your lives and not having the other people in your life, uh, number one. So that's one thing is I call it the love side of your life. The love side of your life needs to flourish and be abundant and completely happy, no settling whatsoever with crappy people or crappy comments. Um, and I must say, like my own, my own dad, when he was alive, we didn't see each other very often, but when we did, I would show up and he would say, oh, it's so great to see you. I'm so proud of you for having your own business and making money. Like he didn't think it was going to be possible or something, right? He doesn't, he doesn't come from the entrepreneurial world. Uh, he comes from the world of education. <laughs> and so he was shocked, I think, that I had made good money. <laughs> And, but he would say, I'm so proud of you. And then in almost the same breath, he would say, but how come you haven't fixed your crooked tooth yet? No, they have a crooked tooth. I could care less, right? That's the least of my concerns at this point, right? <laughs> I still bite fine. I can chew whatever. I don't really care. It's not a concern for me. Whereas it might be for others. It's okay if it is. Um, or he might say, well, how come you haven't lost the weight yet? You know, because I have a few extra pounds down here, especially. Um, that's not supportive. He says he's supportive, but what his, some comments that he makes are not, and they don't make me feel good. They make me feel yucky, right? So I don't settle for those kinds of people anymore in my life. And if they come around, they don't stick around very long because I don't tolerate that. So success to me means not tolerating that at all whatsoever, period. End of story. I don't care who it is whether I'm married to them or they come over every weekend for family dinner, um, or if it's a crap client or someone in a networking event, it doesn't matter. It's just, I don't tolerate it anymore because I don't need to, and I deserve it. Right? So that's number one of success is that love side of your life. Honestly, it's probably more important than the business side of your life and the money. Honestly, 
right? Because if you're around crappy people and they're creating you like shit and uh, you don't have love in your life and you have all that going on over there, you're not happy. I don't care if you're making a million dollars. It's still life sucks because you got that bad love side of your life, right? So that is probably hmm, 70%. In my mind, that's just me. This is me, right? 70% of me feeling successful is having an abundant, happy, ugh, meaningful, joyful love side of my life. The other part is the money, right? Having a great business, a very profitable business, uh, one where I don't have to kill myself in the beginning. And gosh, for many years, probably a good dozen years that I've been in business. I've been in business for almost 20 years now. Um, well, 19 and a half. But for a dozen of those, I probably worked way too hard. I worked on weekends. I worked until midnight. I took clients at all hours because I wanted to make more money and I wasn't making the money I needed to. And I wanted to, you know, advance. But now at 51, I'm setting more boundaries, right? I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. I could do this 24 seven, but that would not be fair to my amazing husband or my beautiful stepdaughter or my dog <laughs> or my friends and my mom who's going through uh, lung cancer right now. Yeah, she is, right? But I'm still showing up to calls. I'm still doing what I need to do. I can't shut everything down just because something is going on in my world. I, I press through, I make time for the right things, but I, I still am very productive. One thing about me, and this may be something you need to work on, I don't know, is I'm extremely organized in everything. In, well, I won't say everything, in 99% of the things I do. Cause there's always that <laughs> I'm don't get me wrong. I still need improvement on almost everything. Um, but I'm really organized. Therefore I'm more efficient and productive. Therefore I can do more, see more, talk to more people and make more money in a more condensed amount of time because I'm so focused and organized and clear on what I'm doing and what I need to be doing and what I should not be doing. So I don't waste a lot of time now on unnecessary things. And so I'm very careful with that, which brings me more money, right? So, and it brings me more happiness in the left side of my life. So I'm just bringing this to your attention today because it's the end of the year. It's time to make some new decisions on what you're going to do next year. Reflect on what happened this year and look towards next year and how you want to redesign your life, not just your business, but your life. How do you want to redesign your life? You are in control as an entrepreneur. We're in control of everything. We can literally design the business around the kind of life we want to live. We don't have to fit our life in around our business. You have the power and there are billions of people on this planet and you just need probably this many people. So to worry that you have to be everything to everyone that everyone is seeing you is a false worry. It's a, something you don't need to worry about, right? Because you only need this many people out of the billions and billions of people on the planet. So you want to set those boundaries and expectations and desires and goals based on what you want. Stop settling, stop tolerating, stop settling for less money when you know you're worth more because you're looking at your competition saying, well, they only charge this. I can't quite, quite possibly charge this. Who cares? The people that are coming to you may not even know that your competitors exist. Charge what the hell you want to charge. Charge as much as you can say without stuttering is what I always say. Because when you start stuttering, you lose the sale. So as much as you can say without stuttering, make sure you have a pricing that is value, that you feel valued at delivering. I talked with a, class, a client today <clears throat> and she, or yesterday, and she said, I don't feel valued at this price anymore. I said, well, then it's time to change, raise your rates right? If you're going to still offer and deliver this many hours or chunks of time or whatnot or deliverables, and you don't feel valued at it, well, don't keep charging the same price. You need to charge more. You want to make more money? If success to you means making more money, 
a lot of times it's hitting the six figures, right? When someone, they just want to hit six figures. And that was me up until 2008, okay? 2008 was six years into my business. And that is the year that I hit finally 100,000 in one year in my business. That's the year, right? I remember it exactly. I remember explicitly what happened that year because I was so focused. I'm like, I just got to get to the hundred. I just got to get to the hundred because then I'll finally be successful. <laughs> right. And I laugh because that's not what makes us successful. The dollar figure is not what makes us successful. It's, it's how we live our life, right? The money is a means to an end. The money funds our mission. The money is necessary to sustain us. And so we don't have to eat top ramen and live in a shack, right? The money helps us do more good with more people because we have less stress. We're more rested when we have more money because we feel comfortable sleeping longer and uh, we don't have to get up at the crack of dawn to try to get more clients, right? When you have more money coming in, everything is easier, because you don't have to stress about money. Money stress sucks. I know, I had it for years. Even when I hit 100,000, it was not enough. I didn't have enough. When I hit 200,000 in a year, which was just, I don't know, it was a few years ago. When I hit $200,000 a year, you think, oh, well, that's plenty, Katrina. No, it's not, because you know what? My team cost me, about 60,000 a year, $60,000 of that was going towards my vendors, my team, my contractors, independent contractors. And then I had $30,000 maybe going to travel expenses because I was flying all over. And then I had all my electronic expenses and my monthly expenses and my household expenses. I hardly had any profit. Seriously, like we could go on vacation, but couldn't buy a new car. Like, you know, like... <clears throat> I'm saying this because you might think that when you finally get to 100, you're set, you can relax. No, because you'll want more. You'll want to do more. You'll want to be more. And you'll have a new awareness of your value. When you get to 200, same thing happens. When you get to 300, same thing happens and so on and so on. Now, that doesn't mean you help. You don't help more people and it's all greedy. It's not about being greedy. It's about setting yourself up for the life that you want to live. We also have to look at the future. I said, my mom had lung cancer right now, right? She's going through chemo and she's in an independent community right now. Her husband died like four and a half years ago, unfortunately. And so she was all alone in her own house, right? So she decided to move in and downsize into an independent community. Now it has assisted living too, so that if and when she ever needs it, right? It was a very smart decision on her point. My dad would have, he never made that decision. He totally should have made that decision, but he was too stubborn and in denial to see that he needed help. My mom is smarter than that. <laughs> and she moved into independent. My point is that it's like $4,300 a month with no assistance in those kind of communities, right? But we're, we're banking on the fact that when she does need it, it's so much of a seamless transition because what you don't want to happen is you don't want to live in your own home and then all of a sudden crisis hits and you immediately need assisted living and you have nothing set up or prepared or prepaid or anything like that to go to and then you're in crisis mode. I know this because I had a geriatric care manager as a client who taught me all this stuff, right? So the point is that we might need more money. You might need more money than you think in your year, later years, right? She's 78 and she needs um, like $5,000 a month to live on now. And, some, and she wasn't even bringing that much in, right? She's got savings investments, all that. I'm not trying to tell you all her personal stuff, but I'm showing you that you have to make more now because what if you need a lot more every month? later in your life? What if you live to your 95? What if you need 10,000 a month to sustain yourself, right? I don't know, like, I don't know, but you need to make more money now while you can, because what if you can't in five years? Just saying. So love, money, 
Love plus money equals happiness equals more success. Now, the third component that I didn't put in is your health, right? Your health and wellness. And I didn't really put that in like my book, Love Yourself Successful. It talks about this stuff. Love plus money equals happiness. But I wrote that when I was um, 42, 40, between 40 and 42. And I didn't have really anything wrong with me at that point, health-wise, right? And now I do. <laughs> and so now it really is love plus money plus good health <laughs> it equals happiness and success in my life. So we do have to pay attention to our health. We do have to take care of ourselves first, uh, you first, then your family, then your clients or your job, and then everybody else. Please don't do it backwards. Please take care of you first. Set yourself up for success. It starts now, It now is the time. Don't wait till you think there's gonna be some break in your schedule to be able to focus on this. You gotta do it now. You gotta work through whatever it is you're going through and still make time to work on this, to set yourself up for success in 2022, but also for every year beyond that. I'd love to help you through that in any of these aspects whether it's the love side of your life, the money side of your life. I have lots of things coming up in 2022 that um, are related to this conversation. And <clears throat> um, I would love to have you be a part of that, however you feel called to. Uh, you can, I'm gonna be launching my Love Yourself Successful book in January, relaunching. I added more to it. I, launching a second edition because there was so much that's happened in the last nine years since I published it the first time. And it's such a critical integral part of how, why I'm so successful now that I had to relaunch this and come out with that. So that's coming in January. I'm doing a Love Yourself Successful online summit with a whole bunch of speakers that all talk on love, money, lifestyle, that kind of thing. Uh, in February of next year. And then I'm bringing back my Love and Money Live uh, event in person in the end of March, 2022. So get on my email list, start seeing some of this stuff, reading what I've got, listening to my emails and my videos and uh, go to, go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com. You can do forward slash free trainings and pick a training and get on my list that way or on the homepage and get the free biz kit or <clears throat> come to one of my uh, upcoming master classes or whatnot and just come, just come and start being a part of my world if any of this is something you want more of because this is why I do what I do is to heal. Like I had my, perp well, I, I work, did some true purpose work <laughs> many years ago and I thought, well, my purpose, I'm a business mentor. I help people with their businesses, make more money doing what you love, right? That's what I always say. But when it come down to it, when I really did the hard work, I am here to heal the hearts of women, to heal the hearts of women. Men, you can come too. But when I heard that, I was like, that's not me. I just help you with make more money in your business. But I know now, and I own it, that the love side of your life is again, 70% of what makes up your success. 30% is the money and a hundred health on top of that. So we need 200. <laughs> but the, uh, if you see my videos and you see me talking out there with practical, tactical, this is what you need to do, yada, yada, you know, stop it. I've got my little stop it sign and all that. Know that it comes with love, comes with love. That's, I want you to live your happiest life ever. I want you to be more successful. I want you to have more love in your life and money in your business and to be super healthy. I want to provide as many resources as I can. I want to introduce you to anybody and everybody that I know. I want you to come to me. I want to talk to you. I want to give you tips and advice. I do a lot of that for free. So um, please come and share share what's going on for you. Comment below if you see this video somewhere on my YouTube or a blog post or uh, social media. <clears throat> I want to be that mentor for you or at least provide some part of your transformation uh, in the coming years, however that may look. 
So thanks again for listening and, you know, define your own success. What does that look like for you? And just go out there and make it happen. I know you can do it.